guys, we are out here in these Tahoe streets. You wanted a real drink. Yeah. Well, I don't drink tequila. You want a, you want a beer? I want a beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you lose? A little bean. A little bean? Bro, this guy said one thing to you. A bro. vanilla bean. That shit hurt, nigga. Perkies! Okay, y'all, y'all ready? Okay, you driving? No, only Steph and Lux is driving. We are the passenger princesses. Oh man, I got a little motherfucking uh, the main. Wait, where's your things at? Here. Uh, you not putting them. Hey guys, we are out here in these Tahoe streets. That's right. <laughs> the Tahoe. And I'm just really excited. Like, show them the view. That white girl snow. Hey! Woo, woo, woo! What I'm talking about. <laughs> I want to welcome everybody here to Zephyr Cove Snowmobile Center. I didn't really get to vlog that much today, y'all. I was having so much fun. And we put the fireplace. I can't wait to go home and, I mean, go back to our room and go twinkle. Home. Go back to our room and twinkle toes. You want to twinkle them toes? <laughs> you just want to put some balls on your back. <laughs> yeah. I wish, I, I really look cute today, y'all. I didn't even do no makeup or nothing, but I'm gonna try to take some pictures. The hat is from Timu. Fly, fly. <laughs> Valentine's Day, you guys. Look, I got my little Valentine's Day hat on. I'm so excited, y'all. We are gonna live it up today. We're gonna have a ball. I'm so excited y'all like 
we just came in from breakfast so now me and my girl okay but i get a massage because our men booked us a massage and y'all i think i'm gonna take this robe home because this is just a vibe like look at the bathroom y'all like this is so freaking nice i'm gonna take a bath tonight i bought my lysol and all that but the fact that they gave us apple cider bath bombs it's just so litty they just came and cleaned look at him over there he's knocked out but you sleep now this is how you're supposed to do it okay so he's gonna be relaxing until I get back after my massage. I love you. Thank you so much. I love you too. I'll take a nap. Take a nap. Okay. Then tonight we getting dressed. We gonna throw that shit on for Valentine's Day. Hey, y'all don't even know my man is a model, y'all. You a model, babe? Looks okay. pictures be coming out. Chef's kiss. He be putting that shit on. Y'all gotta go oh, check out. Just to put it on. He be coming with the looks, okay? Like, his pictures always come out so nice. He don't play, but I'm about to go get my massage. Be right back. massage guys look i just walked into my room look at this y'all look <sighs> got the flowers then look happy valentine's day without you there's no me i value appreciate you very much love anthony And then look at my flowers. <laughs> yes. For sure. We was not expecting this at all, like at all. I know. Like, oh, you got the uh, the uh, this stuff for the champagne. Yeah. I feel like yeah, you pulled that off too. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, this is a perfect way to finish the massage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we was waiting for like. Look, I told Kay, I said, Kay, Lo's gonna text me, talk about some. You okay? I said, Kay, what the fuck is he talking about? Why wouldn't I be okay? She said, Right, we're in good hands. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite perfume on tonight, my Jador. This joint smells so good. Okay, y'all. This is the fit. So cute. I want to go downstairs. Look at it, y'all. I ain't done my makeup in so long. First, you know, and this <laughs> random ass lady, we see her chatting, having a great time. And she's like, how do you think I feel? And I live here. And we're like, bitch, what? And she <laughs> said that. She got fucked on. <laughs> <laughs> she said, and I, how do you think I'm here? I live here and I got fucked I got on. I got fucked on. Like, but bitch, basically, she I live here, <laughs> motherfucker ain't supposed to get that tanny. And <laughs> <laughs> so, she trying to say the casino fucked her up, but to say fucked one is crazy. <laughs> so this is the end of this vlog. I almost forgot to do an outro to the whole vacation, but I look a mess right now. <laughs> I got a few lashes that's hanging on for dear life. I had such a great time with my friends. Like couple trips is really my favorite. Oh my god, y'all. I'm getting my lashes done on Wednesday. Like, this is crazy. But I have a webinar coming up, y'all. Make sure you guys check my Instagram because I'm about to do a webinar for people that want to revamp their business, learn about business credit, 
Also, um, learning to combine being an influencer and entrepreneur, how you can monetize off of that. If you know, you know my webinar is being lit. -y. I love y'all so much. And also, make sure you guys continue to pray, keep your relationships with God. Like, literally, I noticed that, like, the more and more people get on here and start talking about, like, how they created a relationship with God and stuff like that, people think that they're going crazy. Um, I just seen something on the internet with, like, G Subu talking about his path with God, his relationship with God, Olivia's song, Alexis Guy. And I just wanted to say that I'm more into the relationship with God. I'm not into the religion. I'm more so focused on my relationship and path with him. And I think people should really focus on that. I think sometimes religion is what scares people away from building their own relationship with God. Like literally just come as you are right now. If you notice when you're living a crazy life, fast life, you know, that's not when the attacks come to you. Life starts to get hard when you start to really form and build your relationship with God, trying to do the right thing, move on a better path. Come as you are, focus on the relationship. I have a crazy story to share with y'all, like a testimony that, gave me confirmation when i tell y'all this was the ultimate confirmation like literally i asked god i prayed to god to you know just give me a sign like you know that he's with me y'all why my mom's birthday popped up literally right after i dropped selene off um i was fasting and i just was praying like i was in heavy prayer dropping selene off and i was fasting at the same time and i dropped selene off and like two three minutes later after I prayed for God to give me a sign, I was driving back home and I seen a homeless person hanging up a sign and it said John 315. 315 is my mom's birthday. And I'm going to put the message of what that Bible verse was. And if that was not confirmation, I don't know. And then when we went away, the room that we stayed in was 315, which was even crazier. But the verse and the fact that it was my mom's birthday like my mom been telling me like you know make sure you create your own relationship with god you know she's always been heavy on that with me and it's just crazy how it all came together i'm gonna do a full video talking about that but you know i just been really focusing on that y'all like i encourage all of y'all like just focus on your relationship with him just fo and i got a new bible called she reads truth i'm gonna show you guys the bible um i really love it because like you can go to the back and there's literally a Bible verse for anything that you're going in. Remember, I'm really focused on the relationship, not just the religion. I'm just focused on my relationship with him. And I noticed that the Bible verses is what, you know, gives me the fuel that I need to keep me going, the confirmation that I need. To each his own, I'm not telling anybody that y'all got to do it this way, do it that way. Do what feels right for you. But prayer really works, y'all. That's all I got to say. But I love y'all so much. I'm about to show y'all the Bible that I um been reading just to just really help me y'all like nothing like everything just feels just hella weird right now like I don't know I feel like a lot of people are going through an awakening right now like times is really crazy right now so make sure y'all stay prayed up make sure y'all continue to write down your goals it even says it when I was talking about my goals um I was watching a who was it Michael Todd and he was just basically saying down saying that the quickest way to get your prayers answered is by fasting and writing it down same thing how people be saying manifesting God is real y'all <laughs> write your goals down pray about it and fast I'm telling you I'm telling you I'm telling you it works it works and I just love how so many people like our age are starting to come out about this type of stuff like speaking their truth Whenever you speak the truth, it always gets people like all worked up. People think you're going crazy. People think you're going through something like, no, not true. A lot of people are asleep right now and they scared to wake up because they they're scared of the truth or people feel like um, they have to come to God. Perfect. Come as you are. Create your relationship with him. Can't nobody speak on the relationship that you have with God. It helps you go through life. It's so much easier. And... I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sleepy, so I'm moving around a lot. And I just seen this girl just saying, like, um, she was just basically saying, like, when you are easily offended or when you're easily irritated or when you're um, 
constantly feeling some type of way in your feelings like you have to be healed and i was just talking about that in one of my videos and basically she was just saying like how god told her like you know in order for him to work with her and use her she has to get tough skin and that that really resonated with me because i really used to be super super sensitive i still am sensitive with a lot of stuff or I be feeling real defensive from like past friendships that I had when people used to throw like little jabs and shit. So I'm always like overly defensive sometimes. But um, that really resonated with me. How am I going to continue to be this light, be this leader, be in my full potential? And I'm constantly getting offended or I'm constantly feeling some type of way about what this person did. How this person should treat me. How I'm feeling. How this person made me feel. Like none of that matters. Like I have to continue to be a leader, continue to walk in my past and not let other people's trauma or not let other people's um, part of their life where they need to heal affect who I am and where I'm being taken to do you understand what I'm saying so she was just basically saying like pray and heal like you will become stronger and stronger and stronger and walking your path whatever your path is like you know just continue to pray pray over your business I always pray over my business like I pray God continues to bless my business so that I'm able to bless other people or uh continue to bless my YouTube so that I'm able to bless other people that's what I constantly pray for and it's so crazy that I'm bringing that up because I remember when I was pregnant, like when I first found I was pregnant, I was like in the shower and I was like crying because I'm like, whoo, like I didn't know what to do. Like, I mean, not that I didn't know what to do, but I was just like, dang, like this is about to get real. Like, God, I need you to turn me up. So I was just praying. I was like, God, I just pray that you continue to bless. This is my prayer all the time. God, I pray you continue to bless me and help my business and my platform bless other people make my business and my platform so big that i'm able to bless other people and look you know now we had 140 something k subscribers my business is doing well i'm able to have bless other people and my family bless the people around me my youtube is able to bless other people and reach other people wherever it resonates like i pray for that you know sometimes you gotta pray bigger than yourself because if you just pray for a lot of money who knows what a lot of money is but being able to bless other people being blessed so big that you're able to bless other people i'm still not done yet but i'm so able to do that in the midst of that and i'm just so freaking grateful y'all like i'm so grateful i love y'all so much excuse the ugliness right now <laughs> but i'll see you guys in my next video baby it is <laughs> oh <laughs> Y'all, I can see who want to sign me right now. Because for real, for real, I just be in these random moves. As anybody, I just be randomly singing. Well, you got to be really close to me to know how I be randomly singing like this. Like, it's insane. Like, with a little auto-tune. So, after, stir me quiet, please. The day that um my confirmation happened, I'm like, you know what? I started looking up easy-to-read Bibles, right? So I never even knew they had Bible highlighters. So when I went to Barnes and Noble to get this Bible, um, I had seen these in the line. They were nowhere near the Bible, y'all. So I just grabbed these highlighters, right? Cool. When I grabbed the highlighters, why? I noticed when I got home that they said Bible highlighters. I thought people was using regular highlighters this entire time. But let me show y'all. This is a easy to read Bible. But that's how my like, confirmation, God, come through, come through. Um, this is the Bible. It is so pretty. See, this is the day I don't lie, y'all. I don't lie. And it's so awesome, y'all. It gives you space to write notes on the side. Real quick. So before I bought this Bible, y'all, I've never read the Bible. When I go to church, um, like, you know, they'll be like, open your Bible to this. And I would have to look at somebody else's Bible or look at the Bible that's in there. And I never understood it. Like, I never understood it, understood the Bible. But this is an easy to read Bible. One of Two of my girlfriends just actually bought this Bible after I told them about it. And my mom, too. But it's just so easy to read. Like, it, it just makes you feel like you're reading a book. Like, I just love it. I just love it. But I wanted to add, when I seen that message that the homeless person was holding up, y'all, I've never read the Bible. John, I never even 
on everything that I love. I never even knew that there was a chapter in the Bible called John. Never knew that. So when I seen John 315, you know, normally homeless people, when they hold up signs, is asking for money or something like that. This person was holding up a sign that said this. And I take this same way home every single day um, after dropping Celine off, y'all. So I wouldn't even have known to open up the Bible in chapter John 315. When the, when the pastor be saying, open your Bible to John 315, I don't even be knowing what that means. Like, I'm thinking it's going to say 315 but it's I guess it's like chapter 3 verse 15 never knew this y'all so and I didn't even realize when I was telling my boyfriend the story how the homeless person was holding up the sign he like 315 315 that's your mom's birthday I didn't even put two and two together I just took away the message that the bible verse said I didn't put two and two together that that was my mom's birthday so I'm telling y'all ask and you shall receive whatever it is that you want to know whatever it is that you want pray about it and you gonna get that Oh my God. See, look, y'all. I'm just scrolling through my Bible, right? Taurus Mountains. I'm a Taurus. Never even knew that there was a such thing called Taurus Mountains, y'all. I promise you, never knew that. You see what I'm saying? Like, resignation, confirmation, it always comes through. I never seen this page. Y'all see how big this Bible is? I have a long way to go. Never knew that. Taurus Mountains. I'm a Taurus. And I'm just scrolling. Okay, here we go. So, like, right here. If you going through faithfulness, you looking, you going through fear, these are the chapters you would read. Friendship, gambling, like all these type of things. I'm telling you, this Bible is the truth, y'all. And make sure y'all get some highlighters and just dive out.